What is that? Bad human. Bad human. You're coming with me. on this phone is just about to run out so I'll be pretty quick with this. Uh, what I've done is I put the tiniest little bit of drop of glue on both the ends here just so it holds together while I saw and cut it. Um, no idea if that's actually the right thing to do or not. We'll soon find out when it comes to sort of pulling them apart won't we? So yeah I've got this bit of a blade drawn on here and that's just to give me a bit of a guide so I don't sort of cut too far, too deep. I'm a little bit worried about chiseling into the cavity on the inside of this. I've got a few lines on the back here and the first step I'm going to do is I'm going to go saw these out and then it's time to do a bit more drawing and then a bit more carving. So while I'm doing the sawing I'm going to stick this phone on charge and I'll bring you back when I can. Okay the phone's all charged up now. Uh, what I've done is I've just sort of shaped this up a little bit more, round out the rough shape and I've got a few sort of bevel lines drawn on there, which you can't really see. But now the next step is to get a little sanding drum on the end of the rotary tool, and we're going to sand in our little bevels. So the first thing I've got to do is try to split this apart without it breaking or doing something weird. I only put the two drops of glue on it, so let's see how it goes. Ooh. It's moving. Oh, there we go. Now, what happened? Okay. Well, I'm actually pretty happy with that. It came apart quite well. Bit of sawdust in there for some reason, but there we go. Now we've got our two halves and I can mark the line, which is actually already marked there. I forgot I did that. This line. That's the line that we're going to cut and then sand it all flat so we can fit it back together again. Okay, we've got to cut and sand it now. It's all nice and smooth so it fits back flush together. Now you can see that the blade hole is quite off center here. The reason for that is because I only chiseled into one side. Ideally you'd be chiseling into both sides and even them out. But I wanted to get a magnet into this part here. I'm going to be using magnets as like a latching mechanism. So that's the next step is I'll mark the holes and embed the magnets. Time for one of the most nerve-wracking parts of this operation. Apart from actually chopping it in half, this is probably the scariest part. I've got a line marked here with four dots. That's going to be for the magnet holes. Got a drill bit with a depth already marked on it. And we're going to be putting in these. Can't really see it. They're tiny little sort of cylinder magnets. So I'm going to be putting four of those in here. And yeah, wish me luck. Hope this actually works out. worked like super duper well. I wasn't expecting it to be that good. That's just push fit. I didn't even have to glue them. So yeah, 
onto the next step, which is putting a metal plate onto the other half of it. And here we are, attempt number two at a handle and sheath for a whittling knife. I've left this one fairly plain just because it's still pretty much an experiment. But yeah, I think it turned out looking pretty cool. I've actually got this latching on properly now, which is something that was lacking from the last one. My last knife didn't actually latch on at all really. So yeah, turned out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with this one. Let's see if we can get it back in there one-handed. There we go. Snaps in there nice. And in case you were wondering, there's my first little handle and whittling knife thing, or handle and sheath for a whittling knife I should say. And this one, compared to my new one, it's like nothing. There's no latching mechanism or anything. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Just one more thing, almost forgot to mention a couple of little housekeeping things. So I'll just give you another bit of a look at this while I'm talking. Uh, the first one is I've signed up for Instagram, so if you wanted to follow me on Instagram, feel free to do that. I'll chuck my little link thing in the description below. And I've also just signed up for Patreon. So if you want to support me through that and help me get some better tools and equipment to make some better items and better videos for you guys to watch, then yeah, feel free to do that as well. As always, thanks for watching everybody, and I'll catch you on the next one.